Hi friends, today we are going to study an essay written by Robert Lind and the title of this essay is Forgetting or you can have another title as On Forgetting. Now before we come to this essay, let me just tell you something about the writer. Robert Lind was an Irish writer. He was born in 1879 and died in 1949. He began his career as a journalist. He is a well-known essayist and critic in English literature. In this essay, the writer throws light on a very common problem found with many people and that is forgetfulness. This essay is taken from his book, I Tremble to Think. So, the writer through this particular essay tells us about a very common problem which is found among people and that is forgetting or forgetfulness. Due to this habit of forgetfulness, many people are likely to forget certain things and they develop the habit of losing the things like umbrella, book, walking stick, purse, etc., etc., due to their forgetfulness. In fact, Lind was shocked to see the articles which were forgotten by the railway passengers and kept for exhibition. In the beginning of this particular essay, the writer tells us about those articles which were forgotten by the railway passengers and they were kept for exhibition. He was very much surprised to see all those articles. Many passengers, they left behind their umbrellas, books, walking sticks, purses, etc. And that makes him think about the absent-mindedness found among people. The forgetfulness is a common characteristic of human beings. According to Robert Lind, forgetfulness, Mario, is a common characteristic of human beings. Then he talks about modern man's memory. According to him, some people are endowed with amazing powers of memory in certain aspects of life, while there are some people who are highly forgetful in other aspects of life. So, when you just look at your own memory power, you may be having very sharp memory in certain aspects of life. But in certain other cases, you are likely to forget certain things. So, the writer thinks that modern man is endowed with good memory because he can remember the telephone numbers, addresses of his friends, birthdays, appointments, for lunch or dinner, names of actors, actresses, cricketers, football players, murderers, last year's weather and names of the hotels he had a meal during last summer. So when he tells us about modern man's memory, the writer says that modern man is given very good memory by God because modern man can remember all these things, 
telephone numbers addresses appointments for lunch or dinner names of the actors and actresses cricketers football players etc etc the writer even says that the, that the people won't forget their clothing while dressing in the morning or even they won't forget to shut their front doors also so according to the writer modern man remembers almost everything that he is expected to remember expect means apekshisu but there are certain other aspects of life in which we can see the forgetfulness of modern man when it comes to taking of medicine according to the writer only a few will always remember to take the medicines on time though taking medicine regularly on time is the easiest thing to remember many people need to be reminded of it he even gives us his own example and tells us how he forgets to take his medicines even when they are in his pocket then he tells us about the views of psychologists on being forgetful according to some psychologists people tend to forget the things they dislike or they are not interested in so you are likely to forget certain things those things which you dislike or those things which you are, you are not interested in so many people may also forget taking medicine regularly because of their dislike for bitter medicine then the writer talks about forgetfulness and its commonest form the writer tells us that the commonest form of forgetfulness occurs in the matter of posting letters occur means jaragu nowadays we are living in 21st century we don't need to post letters today but once upon a time people used to write letters and they used to post those letters and according to robert lind this is the commonest form of forgetfulness and that's why the writer tells us that he is always reluctant to trust a departing visitor to post an important letter reluctant means icche illada ishta villada departing means nirgamisu so here when it comes to memory and forgetfulness the writer tells us that the commonest form of forgetfulness occurs in the matter of posting letters and that's why the writer is not ready to trust a departing visitor one who visits you visitor means sandarshaka so a person who is going after meeting you the writer is not ready to trust that person to hand over the letter so that he can post it he goes on saying that even if he is given a letter to post by someone he is sure that he will forget it to post then he tells us about traveling and forgetfulness while traveling in a taxi or in train he says he can remember almost anything except his books and walking sticks except means varatu padisi so the writer tells us that people forget their books and walking sticks when they travel 
in trains or taxis the writer says that due to his forgetfulness he never carries an umbrella on his journeys the writer is of the opinion that many of us might have lost much of our property on our travels due to our forgetfulness so this forgetfulness is a common experience many of us might have lost something due to our forgetfulness then he tells us about this forgetfulness which is found among youngsters sports persons and anglers according to the writer the elderly people rarely forget the things on their journeys perhaps because with experience they develop a down to earth attitude rarely means viralavagi due to their experience the elderly people are likely to forget less than the youngsters he says the youngsters the sports persons the anglers they tend to forget earthly things because they seem to live in their imaginary world in their dream world imaginary means kalpanic the the writer says that the sports persons anglers and the youngsters they always live in their dream world and that is the reason they forget the ordinary things they are very imaginative they are highly imaginative sportsmen forget their balls bats anglers forget their fishing rods because their minds are still engrossed with imagination then he tells us about the statesmen according to him even statesmen of great reputation are seen to have very weak memories statesmen means mutsaddi adalitagara reputation means khyati padadanta so the statesmen they have very bad memories according to the writer then he asks is forgetfulness a virtue according to the writer in some cases the forgetfulness may be treated as a virtue virtue means sadguna the writer makes us laugh when he says who would who would have trusted socrates or coleridge to post a letter socrates a great philosopher and coleridge a great poet so you cannot trust either socrates or coleridge to post your letter so according to the writer a man with great memory is rarely a man with first intelligence so if you have got a very good memory it does not make you an intelligent person according to the writer robert lin tells us that great writers and great composers of music are men with exceptional powers of memory exceptional means asadharana so the great writers and great musicians the great artists they have very good powers of memory 
then he tells us about a story story of an absent minded father there was a father he takes his baby in a perambulator perambulator means makkala taluva bandi the father takes his baby out in a perambulator and leaves the baby in perambulator and goes to a public house for a glass of beer look here there is a father and the father has taken his baby in a perambulator and as they are out all of a sudden the father finds a public house a place where beer is sold so leaving his baby in the perambulator he enters a public house for a glass of beer fortunately a little later his wife finds the baby sleeping in the perambulator she gets very angry at her husband's behavior and forgetfulness so she decides to teach him a lesson she brings her baby home and she is waiting for her husband expecting to see him terrified to find the baby missing terrified means gabri padisu she thinks that he may be terrified at the loss of the baby but to her great surprise when the husband comes home he cheerfully asks her well my dear what's for lunch today here we see this father has even forgotten that he took his baby out so he has forgotten all about the baby so if you have a father like this father how could you expect him to remember the things so the essay is humorous in nature hasya word in this essay the writer na- narrates anecdotes kirukathegalu and stories to prove his point that forgetfulness is not a weakness according to writer the forgetfulness is not a weakness having a good memory does not make one a great man so the writer says most of us i fear are born with prosaically efficient memories efficient means samarth prosaically means nirasavada the intellectuals the poets and the philosophers are forgetful of ordinary routine things because their minds are occupied with highly exalted subjects routine means dina nityada maamuli exalted means udattavada prashansaniya so the intellectual people the poets the philosophers they are forgetful of ordinary things because their minds are engrossed with exalted subjects according to the writer a man who forgets day to day routine things is no less than a philosopher so forgetfulness is a common human nature in our day to day life we come across situations where we forget certain things and that's why he says that it's a routine 
thing in our day to day life that we are likely to forget certain things the things we are interested in we remember the things we are not interested in we forget so through this humorous essay the writer tells us about this quality of forgetfulness which is very commonly found among human beings thank you for watching